Coco, I know this is hard, and it's gonna take some time to fully grasp what just happened. But why did it have to happen? I miss Grandpa so much. Let's talk about what you miss most about him. Okay. Um, I miss his smile, his cooking, uh, his a little cute accent. I miss how kind he was to me, his advice. Oh, and, and I even miss how stubborn he was sometimes. What that sounds like to me is you have a lot of great memories to cherish forever. Yes, but I really want him here with me, Mama. I know, baby. I do, too. I miss my dad so much, and I'm just thankful he was on this earth physically for 74 years. I wish it was for 100. You and me both. But as Christians, we believe God calls his children home on his time and not ours. So is God going to take care of Grandpa? Oh, God is going to take very good care of Grandpa. He's now in heaven living eternal life. No more weakness, no more loss of appetite, and no more fighting to live. He is now living a healthy, effortless life in heaven with many others who have transitioned. Wow, it must be beautiful up there. <laughs> I imagine it is. One day, many, 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 many years from now, when you go to heaven, You'll get to see Grandpa up there. And I bet there'll be a boatload of salmon and everything you love waiting for you. Free 99 with calming waters, flowers that never die, and everything beautiful you could possibly ever think of. Did you say salmon? <coughs> Any chance that I can run up there real quick, say hi to Grandpa, make sure he's okay, and come right back? <laughs> no, ma'am. No rush. Only God knows your time, and I pray that it's many, 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 many years from now. You still have a lot to accomplish while here on Earth. In the meantime, how about I make you some salmon? How does that sound? Sounds like a plan. Mama, I feel a little bit better about Grandpa. I understand that he's not here physically, but he sure is here in spirit. Not only that, he's living the time of his life in heaven. That's right. We all have a beginning and an ending date. And it's okay to cry and be sad, but we have to always remember to be absent with the body is to be present with the Lord. And that sounds like a sweet deal to me. Yes, it does. Rest in peace, Grandpa. I love you forever. <laughs>
She's a big girl. She needs her space. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie. Oh, it's okay. How about right here? Well, that's the first place I chose, Coco. Oh, well, it wasn't available before, but shh, have a seat so we can resume. Okay, this is where it gets good. The king ran into the city and he drank a potion and he became a thousand feet tall. Then he started running through the city, stomping on everything, screaming, I am the king! Roar! I'm sorry, did, did I buy you this book? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. Okay, shh, this is where it gets good. So next, he starts jumping up and down, shaking the whole city that many thought that it was an earthquake. Then all of a sudden, he starts flying over everybody's head and dropping crowns on them. It was amazing, surprising, beaut. It was super duper. Oh, wait, wait, let me see that book. This book? Yes. Coco, you're not even reading the book. You're supposed to be reading what's on these pages to get stronger at reading. Oh, well, does being creative and using my imagination count for something? Down, down. A, B, C. It's easy as one, two, three. Oh, wait, that's Michael Jackson, so I'm... Little Bo Peep lost his sheet. J mm, no, I already wrote this one. This should not be this hard. Hey, what are you working on? I hope homework. Oh, um, just a new flow. Flow? Yes, Mama. You know, like bars, words, lines, a flow. Uh, a rap, Mama. A rap. You know, like rapping. Oh, you're back at it. Well, that's great, Coco, but you really need to be working on your homework. Oh, I am, Mama. Just wait. You'll see. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I'll be waiting. Let me know when you're done. Will do! working on that but here i go there are seven continents and they're all cool nickname is annis remember this tool four a's n e s all the first initials to help you pass that test <laughs> okay ma'am it sounds like a lot of fun happening in here and not enough homework actually mama i was studying for my test and made up a way to remember my continents oh really well let's hear it there are seven continents and they're all cool. Nickname is Annis. Remember this tool. Four A's N E S. All the first initials to help you pass that test. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That actually sounds pretty cool. But now tell me what each initial stands for. Well, the acronym spells Annis. Asia, Africa, Antarctica, Australia. And NES stands for North America, Europe, and South America. Might I say, I am quite impressed. Why, thank you. <laughs> and I'm out. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. Ooh, let me call TT Johnny and see what she's doing. Hey, my favorite silly niece. Hi, TT. What you doing? Oh, nothing much. Just looking at some uh, some papers, some bills, and things. Oh, well, that sounds boring. <laughs> well, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> it's a part of being an adult. Hmm. <laughs> That's why I stay a child. TT, do you love me? Are you riding? Said you never ever leave from beside me. It don't want that. Okay, okay, okay. Coco, what's up, little lady? <laughs> oh, nothing. Just uh, checking on you and your big head kids. <laughs> Coco, not today. Hello, TT, are you there? I can't hear you. And poor speaker. Hello? Uh, here. 
TT, I can't hear you. you. What you say? Their heads are big. Yeah, I know. Oh. Real big. Watermelon size. Oh. Coco, I can hear you perfectly fine. I don't know why you can't hear me. Hello? TT, can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Can you can, can you hear me now? No? Okay. TT, I know what the problem is. You have an Android, don't you? <laughs> Bye. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Uh, how may I help you, ma'am? Uh, how may I help you, ma'am? Don't start, Coco. Don't stop, Coco. Seriously, Coco, I have work to get done. Seriously, Coco, I have work to get done. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. Every hey, Coco. Uh, bet you can't do this. Bet you can't do it like me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, what about this? Do this. Um, do re mi fa sol la si. Do re mi fa sol la si. Do re mi fa sol la Okay, okay, I see you, I see you. Okay, now this is the grand finale because a lot of people can't do this. You ready? Are you excited about the play? Mm-hmm. I can't wait to see how the giant spider takes over the world. Yeah, well, I'm excited too, but can we play a little game? Ooh, a game. Yes, let's play. Okay, this is how it goes. When we get to the movie theater, you'll be six instead of nine. How does that sound? Oh, but why would I play six when I'm nine? Well, just for today. It's more like a little... No, 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 Coco, we don't use that word. It's more like a little jokey joke. A joke that gets us a discount. Oh, okay, okay, I'll play the game. But mama, next time, let's make sure we bring enough money so that we're not out embarrassing ourselves. <laughs> Right up. How can I help you? Hi, can I get one child ticket? Um, child ticket is ten dollars, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, one child ticket and one adult ticket for Gigantica Spider Play, please. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, how old are you, little lady? Uh, um, uh, 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 Coco, go ahead and tell them how old you are so we can go watch the play. <laughs> um. <laughs> something wrong with her? Is she sick or something? Sweetie, how old are you? Uh, 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 I'm six. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, she's six. Yeah, <laughs> years old. Yeah, yeah, you know, they grow so fast. <laughs> so she's six, right? Like six-year-old child? Yeah, she is. <laughs> Let me take it. You must be feeding this one super Wheaties or something. <laughs> <laughs> She eats a little bit of everything, mainly salmon and rice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, so I can't do it. I'm, I'm sorry, Mama said I'm six, but I'm really nine. But today I'm six, and six gives us a discount, right? Because please tell me you're going to give us a discount because Mama is going to be mad at me. <laughs> Whew, that feels so much better. Oh, I got a 
a low lifted off of me. 20 for you, 20 for her. Cash a car. No, that's not, no, sorry, no, Coco, that's not, you know that's not what I meant. <laughs> sorry for the miscommunication, sir. I, I, I remember we was in the car and you said it. You yeah. said they was going to play a joke and I was going to say I was six years old so that we can get in there for the cheaper price. Mm -hmm, that's what you said. <laughs> I will be paying by card. <laughs> Two tickets, please. Mama has some money. She just don't want to spend it. <laughs> Spider me. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. always for coming to give Coco her lessons. No problem. Coco is definitely one of a kind and she's fun to be around. Well, thank you very much, Miss Haja. Well, you're very welcome, Miss Coco. Have you been practicing what I taught you? Yes, I've been practicing. And how's it going? Oh, um, you know, it's going. You know, I just press this right here and then I head on over here and I press this right here. You know, it's, it's going. You know, I, I love my music board. <laughs> It's a keyboard, but I'm happy it's going good. I'm gonna let you practice a little and then we'll get started, okay? Uh, Ava, can you tell me where the restroom is again? Yes, ma'am, follow me right this way. I gotta get something up the back anyway. Huh, here I go trying to fake it till I make it. Oh man, it took me forever to even learn to turn this thing on. Why didn't I practice? Coco, you know practice makes perfect. Okay, let me get it together. Okay. Ooh, I have an idea. Okay, just for today, and then by next week, I'll have it down pat. Alrighty, I'm ready to see what you got. Hit it, Coco. Oh, okay. Um, have a seat, please, and sit all the way over there because it helps me focus better when you're not able to see my keyboard. Let me get comfortable. More over there, please. Oh, okay. Um, okay, here I go, Miss Haja. because I, I never hear the keyboard, but nonetheless, great job, Coco. Thank you both so much. You know, I try to make sure that I put my all into it. Hmm. You know, it, sometimes it just takes practice and you gotta do what you really need to do to Go marching in, all when the saints go. Are they still looking? Oh, oh, hey, um, what, what happened was... What happened was you were playing the tune that's already embedded in the keyboard. Uh, yes, but, um, and there is a but. I was going to learn it next week, but next week hasn't come yet. Now, now, Coco, you know that's enough. So, what you want to do? How about we watch some movies? Even better idea? How about I tell you a story? Um, I prefer a movie, but a story would do. <laughs> Well, dang, Mia, you don't have to be so direct. I'm just telling the truth. The last story you told me, I went home thinking I was going to go a third arm when I grew up. Oh, well, this one would be better. Now, shh. <sighs> Here we go again on a Coco Egg Venture. Here we go. Now, this is a story all about how my life got flipped and turned upside down. Wait, stop. Seriously, Coco? That's the Fresh Prince of Bel Air song. Oh, well, I was just making sure that she was paying attention. But now that I see that you're here, then we can keep going. Now, shh. Hey, are you girls good in here? Yep, yeah, mm-hmm. We having a good time. I'm just ready to tell my story to Mia. Now, Coco, we spoke about stories, right? And how not to bring them to life, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. 
Uh-uh, no bring the stories to life over here. Okay, good. I'll check back on you two later. Okay, she's gone. Once upon a time, not really long ago, there was a little girl named Kia. Uh, yeah, yeah, Kia was her name. Was it really? Yes, Mia. Her name is Kia. Now, shh. Okay. Kia was a sweet little girl, and she loved cookies. But her mama always tried to hide them from her. But Kia was even smarter, and she hid them from mama. Can you guess where she put them? I don't know, Coco. I guess in her pockets? Wrong. Kia put chocolate chip cookies in the closet under her stuffed animals, and each night she would eat one. But then one night, it was really dark, and there was a glow coming from the closet. I'm not bringing this to life too much, am I? Okay, no? Okay, all right, good. So anyway, the light began to get brighter and brighter and brighter. Kia wanted a cookie so bad out the closet, but she was scared to get it. But the light got brighter. And at this point, Kia couldn't go to sleep because it was shining in her face. So she took little steps to the closet, nice and slow. One, two, one, two, one. I don't want to hear anymore. Okay, I'll take it back. Keep going. She slowly opens the door, and there it was. It was a big, wet monster sitting with her legs crossed eating her cookies. Kia was scared, but she was mad. So her and Mr. Monster Man had some wars with each other. But Kia backed down once he said, Roar! And because she backed down, that's why monsters now live in all kids' closets. Really? Mm -hmm. But there is a way to get rid of them. You want to know how? Yes, please. First, fix your face. How you gonna scare a monster if you look scared of him? Oh, right. You're right. Oh, okay. I guess that's better. Okay, second, you have to clap three times. Okay, stop smiling. You're scaring me. Now puff your cheeks out three times. One, two, three. Okay, last one. You have to quack like a duck. This part right here will get rid of that monster forever. I mean, that monster's never coming back. You ready? Because I'm really ready for you to get that monster out of my closet. He ate my cookies a long time ago. Are you serious, Coco? There's been one in your closet this whole time? I got this. Quack, quack, quack. Yeah, say it louder, Mia. Quack, quack, quack. What is going on here? I'm on the phone and all I hear is a duck. did I tell you? Uh, don't bring the stories to life. And what did you do? Brought the stories to life. Fix your head. Tell Mia the truth now. Truth? Hey, Mia, you know I love you, right? So, you know, there's no real monsters in the closet or anything. You know, I was just playing with you, but I was just telling you my story, hoping that, you know, you can go back and tell your mama so she can tell my mama or your mama could just give me some more cookies because the monster who fake ate my cookies. You know what I'm saying? I just want some more cookies. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Come on, Coco. Come on. Me, 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 me. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> I am Coco, and I am amazing. I am the world. <laughs> well, might as well let her stay busy since she's out of my hair for a short time. <laughs> I'm ready. I just want to thank everybody. Hey, Devon. You know, all of our children are extremely smart, talented, and ambitious. I mean, 
the list goes on. But it's something special about Coco. I just, I can't put my hand on it. Well, I'll tell you what it is. She's creative. Yes, that's what it is. She has a vision and she attempts to bring it to life. See, that's the thing. She brings it to life. If there's one thing we know about Coco, she's focused and she's determined. Yeah, my little star. <laughs> I just want to thank you all for the opportunity. And I really hope you all enjoy the show. But fourth, I want to thank my sisters, Ari and Rhea, my friends from school, my daddy. Oh, I love my daddy. And last but not least, my mama. Even though she says, stop, Coco, 75 times a day, I wouldn't trade her for the world. And I wouldn't be where I am without her. So, I leave this saying, Always believe whatever you do and you set your mind to it, you can do it. She's pretty quiet there. You sure she's good? Yeah. I walked past and she was in the bathroom. She's fine. Fine? Okay. We know we're talking about Coco, right? Coco plus quiet doesn't equal fine. <laughs> no, seriously. When I walked past, I heard her using her imagination. I'll just give her a little more time. <clears throat> Hey, babe, where'd you learn how to sing opera? I thought she was just a rapper. <laughs> I taught myself. I really have been wanting to do it like Mary and Anderson, so I just set my mind to it and I just did it. Okay, wait, 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 let me get my phone. Okay, do it again, Coco, just one more time. Okay, mama, but this is the last time, okay? Because I don't start a hood. Okay, baby. Okay. Now I don't have to do any because I'm the star. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no no. Every time we turn. 